so we must come to a heavy understanding of what we carry in christ the power we carry in christ the strength we carry in christ the ability we carry in christ we don't need lukewarm christians we need to be bold why can't Christianity, why can't we come to the realm where I'll say, hey guy, there's something we need to discuss. Okay, don't worry, you know what? I'll see you in the dream. We'll continue the conversation there. And then this brother goes back home, I go back home, and we have a conversation. I mean, I, I listened to one of Daddy Salman's um, teaching. He said one day he was looking for a particular sermon, to listen to that sermon. He said he couldn't find the sermon in the system. So while he slept, he saw himself in a dream. He found the sermon in the dream played it in his laptop, listened to the whole sermon, woke up remembering the whole sermon. Hope you know there are people that there is a school of the spirit where you go and they teach you how miracle work, how signs and wonder works, how prophecy works. Hope you do. Hope you know there is a class called the class of Holy Ghost in the spiritual realm. Sometimes you enter, you know what is taught. You come back. Sometimes you enter, you don't know what is taught, but it's downloaded inside of you. All of a sudden, you see yourself acting and knowing certain things about the spiritual realm without knowing how you know them. And then there are scriptures that backs them up to align with you. You know what I'm saying? So there are spiritual realms. So people enter knowing what is happening in the class. So people enter, they know they dream, they saw something, but they can't remember what they saw. But it's already downloaded inside of them. They only act it out. Then sometimes there are some visions you have already seen, but you're not matured enough to handle the vision. So it is taken from you. Then when the vision is replaying itself, you say, hey, I've seen this thing somewhere. You call it deja vu. What is deja vu? What is deja vu? That's vision you have seen. You're only acting it out. You are seeing it. You're like, I've seen this before. I've seen, and as you are speaking, you are acting in line. You say, oh, I've seen this before. It's a vision you see that was hidden from you. Hidden from your knowledge. Because there are some people you have, there are some people you have met now that God will connect you to in the next five years. If you can remember who they are now, you start finding them. And if you find them, you connect to them in the wrong time. When they will not be a blessing to you. But God needs to deal with them to grow them. And when you meet them, they say, I don't know why, but you look familiar. And you're saying, even you too, you look familiar. You guys have not seen each other. It was in the spiritual realm that you guys met. But you have to wait for the appointed season to meet. Because you two have to grow to a certain level. That one has to grow to a certain level. For the both of you to be useful. In fact, the person you are supposed to marry, you have met with the person. How you will know is that the person you marry to now, there's sometimes the person you marry will do something. You're like, ah, I've seen this in somewhere. That is because you are aware that you have married. But if God has shown you that person, you would have gone to his village at the tender age and started harassing that girl. Is that true? Man of God, you... you. Uh -huh. That's true. That's true. So the spiritual realm is deep. Travel in the spiritual realm. Don't be afraid to close your eyes and say, Lord, take me to places I want to go. Travel. If you don't travel in the spiritual realm, how do you start the physical realm? Before you go to Bahamas, you go through pictures first. Before you go to Dubai, you go through pictures first. Don't just wake up and say, I'm going to Dubai. You don't know what Dubai is. You don't wake up and say, I want to go. I like Iraq. The, the voice standing Iraq. Let's go to Iraq. You will die there. Whenever you say, oh, let's go for UK. Even if you're applying for a visa for like going to UK. The first thing you say is go and Google UK view. You see UK, you are like, as you're watching it, your part of you begins to say, okay, okay, I go there here. I go there here. A, a desire boils up inside of you. And that is also called law of attraction. You begin to attract it. <laughs> 